Of uh, really One Way Out by of... Allman Brothers. If you like the Allman Brothers really bad, yeah. we we'll had... play really bad versions <laughs> of it. If you want to hear the real one, go out and, uh, and find the real one. Uh, <laughs> they do a much better job. All right, so yeah, we're Music Villas, Electric Land. That's Joe. This he is Blaze. Uh, so yeah, we're, um, you know, we're uh, talking about beer and gear, having fun. You know, we work at the store here and we get this new gear and all this cool stuff and we want to bring them down beer here. Beer and gear, guys. Yeah, we want to show you show you them and talk about them a little bit and have fun. Talk about beer, talk about guitars. We're going to miss, uh, we're going to skip over a lot of specs and a lot of information. Yeah, we have those specs on our Click website. Click the link. It's yeah. there. There's a lot of videos that talk about specs and all that. We're just going to have fun with them. And, uh, you know, leave a comment if you want us to go over anything or talk about anything. But we're just goofing around. We're having fun. And, yeah. uh, and uh, um, we we're, find stuff that we like in the music villa is selling and we're going to kind of feature them and hang yeah, out with so them. Yeah, so might know, have guests. Everything we bring on the show is for sale at the store and we simply pick select things from the shop that we're excited about and yeah. play them and show you guys. It's so, just, uh, you know. And that's kind of what Electric Land is. So... Here we are. So just to let you know, that's the, free, the deal. It's a free form. I, uh, it's yeah. our review. <laughs> I don't want you to be like, oh, they're going to do all the specs, and then I'm going to get angry because they're not totally dissecting the guitars. Yep. Uh, we're just going to have fun with them. You can find that stuff at our website or somewhere else. Uh, okay, so anyway, but today what we're doing, you know, so we're excited in 2019. Gibson's yep. restructuring their company, doing all this stuff. We love Gibson. We do a lot of their acoustics. Uh, but they have a lot, you know, we're hoping that things are going to be better to, you know, all dealers are hoping that, uh, things are going to get better. We're going to be able to carry electrics, sell them online, uh, as well as our acoustics, uh, which were the hometown, uh, place for Gibson acoustic. Um, so anyway, a lot of great stuff. We love to give them the same treatment we do with our other guitars companies that we really have all the specs on our website, pictures of them, videos talking mm -hmm. about them. So, uh, but in, uh, so we're really excited that so soon we're going to get some Gibson Les Pauls and SG, you know, to get their line. I hope so. And I hope so. Uh, but in the meantime, we've been getting other guitars that are like are there Les Pauls a, that aren't Les Pauls. There's been a boom. There's been a trend over the last three, four years of Les Paul alternatives. Yes. In, in this whole industry. Yeah. Because um, they're harder to get because it's... So Gret Gretsch, yeah, has, for obvious Gretsch reasons. sold record numbers of Jet guitars, you know, the last couple of years. And yeah. Eastman made this amazing Les Paul, right? Yeah. Uh, PR, PRS 594, stuff. you know, it's like Best in Show, Nam a couple of years ago. It's... Every, yeah, you know, all these other companies are they had to step up and doing their do take their, on it, and they're, doing, and they're doing well with it. Yeah, it's their chance to do it's it. It's actually kind of cool because nobody has made... There hasn't been like that legit of a Les Paul style. I don't feel you know. Right, like, you had like Epiphone, these... but the same problem with the Gibson. Yeah. And stuff. So, uh, but this this quality, mm -hmm. like we're holding these guys right here. What is this? Uh, these are what are these called? T S or SB fifty uh, six and fifty seven. Yeah. Which nineteen fifty six Les Paul right would have had the except I think it would have been a wraparound, but it would have been uh, P nineties. Yep. And then you know uh, uh, this. I mean, this is like a Les Paul custom, right? Yeah. Totally. And these things feel they don't feel chintzy. They don't feel they feel like I'm holding a real deal high. Yeah, I mean, I think these things are know, awesome. The long tan and they next, sound. They got the tone the stuff. Yeah, they're both. They both have Lawler pickups. Yep, Lawler um, Imperials. These these were like a, an underwound pickup, so they're more like vintage. What I are think they calling? I think uh, that's underwound, and that's like an. Uh, they're both like aged, custom aged. That's Lawlers, right, custom aged wine. But that's an underwound one up there for you know getting that little more. Thicker, they sound sweet. Lawler's known for making great P90s. Always have, you know, for a long yeah. time. Yeah, so it's really great. You got these killer pickups in here, and they're just super well done and clean. And I mean, go, they feel go to, great. Go to hardware. Uh, they always have any fretboards. Yeah. You these know, and you're gonna Maple you're gonna caps. get into like the 1700 ish area. You know, it, it's not the they're not super cheap. I think this but, is one uh, piece. I think this is one piece of wood. Well, I know oh. that they both have maple caps on it. This one's a carved maple. They're nitrocellulose finishes. These are pretty damn cool. I mean, just holding them and playing them, they're, they're great. Yeah. awesome. They if are. I need a Les Paul, I'm going to heavily consider this. This one's not too terribly heavy. And if they're both I'm here, right. if we and when we do get uh, Les Pauls, if we can do shootouts, it's going to be interesting to see. Yeah, well. Um, whether, you know, uh, these things are probably the God, closest thing that I've ever 
played that yep. uh, to a, a real Les Paul. They were really so, smart, but good pickups. Yeah, really great. quick, let's do the pickups. We got overdrive. Yeah, and okay, so... <laughs> Archer pedal on. Yes, I do. So, uh, that's this one. How about let's hear what that one yeah, sounds so like. Here's so. the neck pickup. No, uh, just run through a reverb unit only. <laughs> good with the overdrive because it gives it a little more punch. I mean, when you were doing it without it, yeah. it definitely had a, it was, it's, it's mid-rangey. It's very, you know, that underwound thing, it's like really big sound. I like the middle, That particular too. tone might be going for. That's great. Yeah. Yeah. Very articulate, clear, killer, smooth sound and pickups. Yeah. So, and these things just play good, right? They, they feel good. Awesome, they feel yeah. like they're dense. They're not some, they don't feel like a cheap thing in your hand or, you know, like they're killer. They play great. So, Love them. Uh, I dig them. Yeah, huh. man. So, uh, you know, there's that. There's that. Les Pauls, yeah. you know, uh, Gretsch has been making killer stuff too, Les Pauls, and, and BRS, we might mention that. Really great stuff uh, and, until we see real Les Pauls coming out. Um, but, you know, these things are keepers. Once we get the Gibson, we're, I, we need to keep having these too because these are pretty yeah, awesome. Yeah. This thing is just insane. Uh, so, anyway, um, we're Music Villa. He's Blaze. Yep, we're Electric Land. Beer and gear, talking stuff, talking shop, <laughs> giving you the business. Uh, but yeah, let us know if you're interested in these and uh, and look out for yeah if we do have Gibsons and whatnot down the road. And we'll have the specs and pictures of these up on our website. You can get them from us. Call yep, or we go have both online. these guitars. In and uh, hope you're all having a good New Year. And uh, there you go. I'm Joey's Blaze. Thank you guys. <laughs>